Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Hitman. What's up with the sudden limp on our resident yoga master? Hmm, I noticed that. Heard him complain about it on the phone, too, talking to his doctor. But I think he overstretched or pulled a muscle or something. Oh, uh, yeah, the kid doesn't. There's a lot of annoying people out there. That Yamazaki lady, the lawyer, she's really... Hold on. ...expressing her malcontent. Probably a good idea for him to stay out of her reach. Well, he's been walking around like that since this morning, so... Sure, he's not going to be doing any routines with any other guests. Well, what about you? Don't you have any uh, meds or tricks to fix them up? You're a doctor, after all. I'm a mortician. My patients don't get well, they get cremated. You don't know what a mortician is, do you? Let's see. Oh no.
using an experimental stem cell treatment on a human subject. Forty-seven. I have intel regarding the pilot. I managed Go. to gather intel from the hospital's security system. The chief surgeon, Nicholas Laurent, seems to have frequent rendezvous with the helicopter pilot near the remote personnel exit. And rumor has it that the chief surgeon suffers from trembling hands. Hey, would you mind a little privacy, please?
Okay. Save. Is that him? That's probably him. Nails, I am. Uh... Need another bill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. I'll show you where my stash is. Hey, I get it. Not an errand boy. Lead the way. Provide you with the means to get close to sodas. He knows me. Perfect. Ha! Suck a dick. Okay. Careful there. Is Eric Soders, former training director at the ICA. Regrettable. Thing is, I'm not a doctor, I'm a surgeon. to check the
power supply. Searching. Doctor, right this oh way. no, oh no, 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 no. Of all the things I pick up, this is the level I I'm missing a screwdriver. I'm not gonna get one here. I need, I need to do something. I can't get close. Uh, uh. Nice. That's me though. Cancer, holy shit. So. <laughs> Look at the end there. This man is literally one big stem cell. It's almost as if he's been engineered. That sounds. Didn't you see me there? I'm sorry. Patient Emma's Dexter, regular A Gamma. Eighth. Damn. It's 
sweetie. I apologize. Okay, this is a fucking puzzle. Commencing fluid extraction procedure. That's both fluid targets down. Time to find I'm not sure I've done that. Holy shit. No, 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 no. Are you kidding?
great night, Doctor. Thank you. What is the door for that? Oh god, that's a woman. Let's go. I'm not here to be a pervert. Oh god. I'm stuck. I can't leave like this. They gonna find me. Okay. That seems to work. Oh my god, is it my room? Maybe not. Am I making it? Am I making it? I'm making it! Holy crap! Holy crap! That was confusing. Got it. Miss Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation. Not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. 
Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICA look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment. But he's gone now. Ah. Uh, well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This... <laughs> this is maintenance. And that was the end of the campaign of Hitman 2016. Uh, I didn't record it, but as you can see here, I got mastery level six. Um, and like the average, like I finished this mission in just under an hour. And that really surprised me because I was expecting to take two hours because um, I remember checking and unless I'm, my memory is wrong you, on how long to beat this mission takes on average two hours to for people to complete and I did it in one hour uh, I guess I got really lucky with with my approach you know in trying to, to figure things out um, and uh, I know it doesn't really count the, the load like the saving and loading but uh, I still uh, I still enjoyed uh, my time with it um, it was really good like I really 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 like the the game uh, and now I'm ready to I'm ready for DLC but before that I would like to just give a little review a little bit of a review um, on on the game like there's a lot of content here many um, many challenges many mastery levels many approaches to um, to your objectives um, and also the the elusive targets the, the, the uh, online uh, component as well. I believe people can do make contracts and you can play on other people's uh, levels, if you will. Um, I think that each mission is very diverse. Um, obviously from the location, Europe to Asia. Sorry. <gasps> Africa. Uh, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely uh, a great, great game, great experience. 
Um, it, it really makes you think and try to figure out things on your own. I never felt um, frustrated uh, except for, for the level there on Colorado. Like that, that pissed me off in the beginning. Um, but it's such... It's such an awesome game, uh, and I was really into the story as well. One thing I didn't fully understand uh, is on the last cutscene. Um, I don't understand why. Um, sorry. Jesus Christ. Uh, um, I didn't understand why uh, Diana felt the need to tell uh, the other bastard of Providence, um, the, the, you know, Agents 47 background, like, was she trying to prove a point, was she trying to be like, look buddy, I already know, it's from here, um, cause, you know, I, I don't know if that was the point, but in, in, in her place, I would just be like, I, I ain't saying nothing, you know, like, I'm not giving you any information that you can use, against me, you know, that you can use to your to your advantage. Hello everyone, this is just a small update on my Hitman 2016 series. Uh, as I mentioned before, I was super excited to, to keep playing Hitman, but um, I, to this point, I did play and recorded the first two missions of the Patient Zero DLC. I hated it because, well, one, it kind of disappointed me and threw me off that it wasn't um, or they weren't new maps they were the same locations uh, with the with minor changes and that um, like that had an impact on me for sure because I was expecting something new you know uh, but I didn't get that and on the other hand and I guess this is the most factor in why I didn't enjoy myself uh, so far with the DLC okay with the DLC is the night time so the first two missions are at night I hate it I I, mm -mm, I, I can't do it I, I, I hate it with a passion but you know, I pushed through the first mission. To be fair, I got fed up with the waiting and the planning and the uh, because it's the same location and I just I just wasn't having it. So I managed to do the first target somewhat stealthily. I wasn't caught. The body was found because I blew it up, but I wasn't caught and I wasn't searched or hunted or or compromised. Even I was fine. And then. The second target got locked down, and I, I just couldn't figure out a way to get close. So I just put a bullet in her brain and just get the hell out of Dodge. And that was how the first mission ended. So uh, again, on, on the DLC, I want to be perfectly clear. I'm just talking about the lack of enjoyment I got from the DLC. And then the second mission, I was just wait at night again no um and then not only that there was like a timed aspect um because these two targets were going to meet at a certain point and as soon as they do one of them will try to leave and I cannot allow that to happen I need to get him before he free runs I hate timed things so I rushed it I just got my my sniper rifle I managed to find it by sheer luck, because um, I don't know the map that well. I only played it through it once at not at uh, during daytime, so I have no idea uh, where to go, where it is. But I actually found it, climbed out to a to a building, and took out one of the targets. So I'm like, okay, perfect, they're not gonna meet. But I couldn't find a way to get close to the second target, so I got compromised because uh, again I was trying to rush through it. Uh, and I found out that you can only save once, so there was no way I was gonna salvage that. Um, and it got to a point where I was just like, you know what, fuck it. So I just started shooting everybody, at least everyone that had a gun. I killed a bunch of them. It definitely, you know, got this distressed out. 
But eventually I got killed trying to trying to find a dude and just get just get done with it. I'm not sure if the um, if the enemies respawn. To be completely honest, I have no idea. Um, it doesn't really matter to me, honestly, if 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 they do or not. Like I don't care. Like I I don't care. And and that's the the worst part of it is I don't care about any of that DLC. I enjoy and love the campaign as it is. And now that I try to do DLC. The first two missions just left such sorry a bad taste in my mouth that I don't I don't see myself completing it and I'm not even like my problem is because it was such a, a, a disheartening experience with the DLC unfortunately I no longer feel motivated to go back to the to the campaign missions and uh, try to do the challenges. Even if I go in like guns, gun, you know, like guns blazing and let's do this shit. Like at the end of the day, this game is not prepared or optimized for you to go. Uh, sorry, for you to just go and shoot everybody. You know, you can, but it's not. I don't know, like, it doesn't play as an Uncharted game. It doesn't play as a Tomb Raider game. You know, the remakes. Uh, so, uh, not the remakes, like the reboot series. They're not exactly... They're not exactly... I mean, they're not remakes. I'm talking about the the Tomb, the Tomb Raider from... The trilogy starting that started in 2013. That, that's, that's the, those are the games I'm mentioning. Uh, for reference. You know? So, yeah. I'm really sad, but I, I I really need a break from Hitman. I'm very excited about Hitman 2 and uh, Hitman 3 that came out very recently, as you can see there on the screen on the right side. But my journey with Hitman the with Hitman 1, 2016, has come to an end. It has a bittersweet um, taste because main campaign absolutely loved it it was so and it is so good like so sorry so well made um i checked out easter eggs online and they were hilarious to me like the kraken the the cockroach uh some of them are challenges uh and like i absolutely love them but this is it for me. Uh, I I I just really need to take a break. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoy the series. If you're wondering if uh, about the reason, like if I recorded the first two missions, why am I not gonna edit them? It's because honestly, um, I wasn't feeling the missions, and. It's one of those things where I don't want to be unfair to the devs and to the rest of the Hitman fans. I personally did not like any of the first couple of missions of the DLC. And I don't want to just be very negative uh, on, on an entire uh, episode. Or in this case, at least three or four episodes. Um... So, I'm just letting you know, through this little update, that Hitman 1 series is finished. I will, unfortunately, I will not do the challenges. I was, see, I was planning to do them, but now I have no motivation to do them, and I don't want to feel that it's a grind. Okay, so that's, so that's the, the, the reason why. Um, nonetheless, uh, I hope that you enjoy the series, but most importantly, I hope that if you haven't, that you please give yourself a treat and just play this game. I, you know, even if you enjoy the DLC, perfect, perfect. That that's fine. I'm glad you did. I didn't, but the like the main story, the main campaign is.
brilliant, and I adore it so much. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.